If you're really trying to make the holy grail of desserts in the South, what are you talking about? Nanner pudding. There is no BA in front of it. It is not instant banana pudding that you're putting in there. We're using real nanners, we are. It's gotta be thick and you can't be using that fake banana pudding stuff. Don't get no better than nanner pudding. I mean the kind like my great grandmother made, my grandmother, the kind that Shan made and put in this cookbook. And what is more fitting hot summertime dessert? Nanner pudding. I mean it's 94 degrees today, which is pretty cool for us, but we got some humidity. But I am so proud that Bertha's just sitting over there resting, not putting out none of them radiant waves over here to give it to me. So we're gonna make this what I think is the best nanner pudding you've ever seen in your life. So to start out with to make this, we need a cup of cow juice. I've been getting a lot of comments on YouTube I have, and we appreciate each and every one of you for watching them videos and commenting. Be sure and give us a like too, but people say, where do you come up with these names? Cackleberry, hen fruit, cow juice. Well folks, you buy orange juice, so this is milk juice, and it comes from what? One of these, where you do this, and you put it in this jug and then it's good. So we're gonna start with a cup of milk, and everything that we use today will be listed down there in the little link where you can find this. Now comes the what? The creme de la creme Eagle brand. I'm talking condensed milk, pour it all in there. You can see it is a little thickness today, so we're gonna have to help it out as it gets in here. But folks, this is where you get that good, rich and creamy nanner pudding right here. Mm, don't get no better than that. Now into that, vanilla pudding and this is the instant kind that's what i like about it we ain't building no fires today so when you get it to that point break out the power tool bear with me this is going to be a little loud while it gets to go in here you got a sweet tooth made we're going to beat this about five minutes till you get that good thickened consistency there and you can see that as it's sort of set up with that miller pudding <laughs> looky there what oklahoma done growed on a cottonwood tree nanners it did they all come in a little bundle and this one little feller by itself so folks that's really what we after because i like to use one that's a little riper than the other that banana that was a little riper go ahead and put in here Get her hold out of there. You can take your pastry cutter Are fork. Are those indigenous to Oklahoma? And yeah, I went. I did just go over and get one. Is that what you're talking about? Indigenous? I just indigenous stuff went over. I did. And take your fork and go to mashing, mashing it up. One good ripe banana, huh? Huh? Right off the tree, fresh in Oklahoma. Mm. Y'all didn't know we growed them, did you? Hey. Them Caribbean folks ain't got nothing on us. We grow our nanner trees right out here in southwest Oklahoma. Put it in here with our little pudding mixture because that is going to give us even more flavor out of this vanilla pudding. Let's beat that a little bit till it's smooth. I'm going to put it right back in this little bowl because I can get it in that Yeti ice chest right there. But put it in something that you can get it back in your refrigerator wherever you're at, ice chest, because we need to let this chill about 20 minutes before we do anything else to it. I'll see you back in 20 minutes. Can y'all hear that sound? The panting of dogs, the beagle and all of the gallery is hot. The tongues is hanging out. They say, hurry up with the nanner pudding. Now, while that is chilling there and it still likes about five minutes being done on that 20, we went ahead and took them other six bananas and sliced them up really thin as y'all seen. And then I need to get you a nine by 13 casserole dish. Go ahead and take some of them Miller wafers, pour them out in here, and we're just gonna arrange them. Just layer them in here best you can. Try to get the bottom covered because that's what we're after. If you're gonna have nanner pudding, you've gotta have these Miller wafers in there. But you need to proportion it out to where it's pretty even. To where when you reach in there and get a bite, there's a couple of vanilla wafers in the first bottom layer, then there's some more up there, and then some crumbs on top, some banana, all the goodness. You don't want to be cheating nobody, so make sure you get them enough in there. Oh yeah, it has chilled up nicely. It has. 
while y'all wasn't watching and I had the finer luxuries of being at home under the air conditioner to make whipped cream, I took me a cup of that good heavy cream, put it in that mixing bowl, and I'm going to give you a tip to really get that stuff to set up quick. Go ahead and chill that mixing bowl in the freezer about 30 minutes before you ever start this process. It's going to make it whip up a whole lot faster. Added me some sugar in there, put it on high, let it whip, and then I just stuck it in the ice box. And ain't nothing better than good homemade whipped cream. Don't be buying that Cool Whip thinking that you're going to put it in there because we ain't going to let you. It ain't going to happen. So, we're going to take about half of this, give it another stir, and put it right in here with this. And mix it in with that condensed milk and vanilla pudding and mashed nanner to get it where it's all incorporated. Well, layered in the pan they are, the bottom layer, got that first one mixed together, half of that whipping cream. Folks, we fit to put this deal together by laying us some of that pudding mixture right there on top. Good even coating, putting some bananas all up in there and then just keep layering it to the top. Crumble some goodness on there and let her go. Folks, I remember going into Paladura Canyon in July one time because they had droughted out, windmills quit pumping water. I mean, things was looking pretty serious, about like the year we're having now. And I was needing something, I'd be thinking to myself, what would be cool and refreshing for a night dessert? Because we wasn't eating supper till nine o'clock at night. Them guys was get up about 3.30, go get stuff done and get back in at noon, and everybody just shade up till about Oh, seven o'clock, they'd go work a couple more hours and then they'd come back and we'd eat supper at nine. So I remember fixing banana pudding, chilled it up real good. I still had me some dry ice left over from when I come in the first night. And them cowboys were so appreciative because they said, I remember one of them telling me, I've never eaten nanner pudding on a ranch. The only place I think I've really ever eaten nanner pudding was at a family reunion. And I looked at him and I said, young fella, we had a family reunion right now. Y'all are my family, and I'm going to take care of you, and I'm going to feed you the best that I can. this any way you want to. We put it in mason jars for the picture that we have in the cookbook, but I've seen people put it in them fancy what you call parfait glasses and layer it on up through there. I had some good help today. They've been really hot. I don't know if Shan showed you all the footage there we got. Had a big coon hunt when we first got here. We did treat a raccoon over there. Got everybody pulled off of them and now everybody has a sweet tooth. Now big you and Duker at the house got to lick the beaters while ago, but you need a vanilla wafer, do you? All right, and here's the little Meiji bite. Lulu, you're in timeout, but you're all right. You're gonna go ahead and get another wafer. Duker, you're always last one to come in, buddy. There you go. Got a lot of dogs, I gotta get some room. I'm gonna be doing the what? The monkey climbing the tree, peeling them manners off. Woo! So good, I mean, Tip my hat to glory, I do, but that nanner pudding right there, oh my goodness, that stuff is good, good, good. I'm gonna tell you right now, the flavors that come out of there take me back to a lot of childhood memories, but it's so creamy, so rich, it, in a way it feels like you're nearly eating ice cream. It is, it's got such a powerful flavor to it that just, just runs down through there and you think, ain't no better way to end a day, start a day, or even have it for breakfast, folks. Nanner pudding, remember, without the B.A., got to be the best. And as always, and with great pleasure and honor, I tip my hat to all our service men and women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag of flying safe. We shall never forget you, we won't. For the rest of you, come on in here. Y'all know what time it is, and people been telling me, oh, we love the shorts, but we're missing the hub, so I'm gonna give you a big and day to make up for them little ones you ain't getting. God bless you, each and every one, and I'll see you down the best Nanner pudding trail ever. What is it?
Sei lá, cão. He lost some hair, but he's all right. If I was you, I'd stay up there, buddy. He needs to get to that branch. <laughs>